There is a great difference between what God desires for you and I and what God will allow for you and I. Joseph, he wants to be with his family. He's got this leadership here. But was that Joseph's land? Was that the promised land? Do this right here. Let me help you out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, it wasn't the promised land. Let's face it. They left the promised land to come to Egypt to get food because, right, the, 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 land, the land had been desolated and Egypt, the, the plan of salvation was there with Joseph. But what happened was that instead of them getting their food and, and then surviving the famine, when the famine was done, they knew how long it was going to last. Seven years. Go back home. Come on, somebody, say amen. amen. Go back home. But they got over in Egypt and they started looking around in Egypt and they were like, whoo, look at this. They got Costco. Right here they got Costco. Whole Foods. They got Sam's Club. We ain't got to travel on our donkeys and on our camels too far to get to where we need to go. That's right. Wish we could just set up shop right here. Well, what did that lead to for the children of Israel? Slavery. Was not God's plan for them to be in Egypt, but God allowed it. And God prophesied it, of course, in the time of Abraham that this would happen because he knows what decisions you and I are going to make before we make them. But God does not use his omnipotence to interfere with mine and your decision. Still mine and your decision, beloved. What decision will thou makest? 